Ow! Damn it! He probably hit me really hard. Yeah, he did. Son of a bitch. Oh! Yeah, eat it! Oh shit, Rebecca, I'm sorry. He fell right on top of you. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> What is up guys? This is Godlike Matt, and we are back with hopefully the final part of my Chris Let's Play. Assuming it doesn't take too long. Hopefully it doesn't. We'll see how it goes. I'm pretty sure I'm good though. Uh, where the fuck are these things? There we go. There's one of them. Son of a... Really? What a sneaky little bitch! I'm, I'm not even shooting it, am I? Uh. Oh! I can get him. There we go, got him. Okay, cool. The other one still alive? Ah, son of a There we go. <laughs> Got him as he was jumping up on the fucking roof. Piece of shit. Okay. I'm a little bit damaged, but that doesn't matter. Almost out of handgun ammo, but that also doesn't matter. Because I'm not gonna need it at all. After this point. So here we go. Let's turn the fucking power back on. Oh, I'm a fool. I didn't realize that I needed to go do that. Oh, I totally forgot to tell you guys, by the way. I did one thing off camera. Where is it? I'm not leaving till you fucking die. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Stop playing games with me, bro! Show your stupid face. There we go. Got it. Had to kill it without actually seeing it, but whatever gets the job done. Anyway, so I did one thing off camera, guys. Just one thing. Which was, I went to go talk to Jill. I didn't want to show that on camera because it was out of the way. And it was, uh... You know, like, I didn't want that to take up a, a, a great duration of the video. Although, what kind of sucks is I didn't realize that I had to go in that direction anyway because I totally forgot about going back for the fuel thing. So I totally could have recorded that, but, um, sorry that I didn't. That was my mistake. I'll admit, I made a mistake. I fucked up. But, anyways, uh, one interesting thing I want to point out about what happened when I went to go talk to her is that when you go to talk to her, she's like, Chris, Wesker's the... And then Chris goes, I know. How the fuck does he know? Someone want to answer that? Because, I mean, sure, Chris could have his suspicions, but he's never confirmed yet that Wesker's the villain. So that's bullshit. You don't know. You don't know Jack. That's so stupid. I was literally just fighting with him. With Lisa Trevor. How did he figure out from then until this point? That makes zero sense. They should have at least changed the dialogue to make it make more sense. Jill should have been like, Chris, Wesker's the traitor. And then Chris would have been like, oh shit, I had a feeling. Not fucking I know. Trying to be a fucking smart aleck piece of shit. You don't know shit, Chris. Seriously. Don't act like you know when you don't. Anyways. So we're gonna pop the goddamn fuel in here. Like a boss. Here we go. Yeah. You got the fuel, kid. 
running could result in exploding in Michael Baying. That's cool, though. I don't mind. Now, in case there's any random jack shit on hard mode that's gonna try and fuck me in the ass, I'm gonna keep my shotgun out. Just... Pretty sure nothing's gonna change, but... Can never be too careful, right? Ah, <laughs> We're almost done, guys. Get hype. Real survival's almost finished. Now, what I'm really wondering is... Are the trophies gonna stack? Is it gonna give me the trophy for beating hard mode? For beating real survival? Because real survival's on hard mode. Really, there's no point in even... Uh, come to think of it, why did they even separate the modes? Why is real survival a separate mode from hard mode? Hard mode just should have been real survival mode. Because it's harder than, than hard mode would be. So, wh I don't get it. Why not just do that? I understand it's nice to have several different difficulties for what people want to play, but I mean that would have been the ultimate hard mode. Why why not just include it? it? Doesn't make much sense to me. I feel like they should have did it. Not that I have any complaints about this game, mind you. This game is a masterpiece in my eyes and it's made no mistakes. This game's perfect in every inch of itself. It's amazing. And that's why it's on my top ten. Okay. Let's fucking pop this baby in. But we can't because the game's a bitch and you gotta click on the thing. Instead of doing what you've needed to do the entire game, which is open your inventory and click use. This is the only time in the game where you don't have to do that. But anyways, we're almost at the tyrant fight. And I actually have to make a trip to the fucking box from like way at the beginning. Which kind of sucks, that's going to take up time, but I got to do it to make sure I fucking beat Tyrant. Because unlike Jill, I got to use my shotgun on him. See, when I was Jill, it was really funny. I just pulled out my grenade launcher, used every shell I had, and fucking mowed him down. And he died in like two seconds. It's fucking hilarious. Alrighty, here we go. Start it up. Bottoms up, bottoms up. Yeah. So power's on, we can fight Tyrant now. And we're gonna <laughs> We're gonna meet Wesker, who got his ass kicked by Lisa Trevor, and that's gonna be funny. I wonder if Chris is even gonna acknowledge that. Like he didn't it's I found it so weird that they didn't give him a cutscene. When when Wesker fell off the ledge, why didn't they show a cutscene of Chris going, Oh no, Wesker. Like why? He, he literally didn't say anything. He didn't give a shit. I found that a little weird. They'll they'll give Chris a cutscene with Rebecca of her going, "Were you all right in there?" They'll they'll give him that a split second cutscene of someone showing care, but they won't give Chris a split second cutscene showing care about Wesker. That's a little fishy, Capcom. Why would you do that? Why? I don't know. I don't know why you do that. It's beyond me. It's beyond my thinking capability. But what I do know is we're almost on this goddamn playthrough and I'm mad excited. Really sucks that I gotta make this huge fucking side trip. This is great. Pick up this bad boy. Put myself in full health. Like so. I'm gonna bring the handgun too. Just in case I need to... Use it on Tyrant. I don't think I will, but whatever. <laughs> Can never be too careful. I feel like I've said that already. But oh my god, I just love this game, man. I never want to stop playing it. I just, I'm so happy when I'm playing it. <laughs> I don't think I'll need more than this health. But, uh, yeah, alright. I think we're good with this. Let's fucking do it. Let's kick some tyrant ass. So apparently what's really interesting, uh, when you play the knife only playthrough, apparently, because there's no way to kill tyrant at the end of the game unless you use the rocket launcher, like that's literally the only way to kill him. So apparently, the game excludes that. Like, when you get to that point in the game at the very end, you're allowed to rocket launcher him. Which is pretty crazy. Crazy. 
Crazy. Alrighty. We're almost ready to fight him, guys. Sorry for the wait. I've been trying to be as entertaining as possible to make sure that you guys are not bored in any way. But it's getting difficult. <laughs> uh, now I'm going to make a quick save just in case anything goes wrong. Just you never know with this game. And I'll see you in a minute. Alright, made a save. Now let's go destroy Tyrant. For the first time. And then we're going to kick his ass a second time shortly after. But let's fucking do it. Oh, silly me. I clicked on the elevator door again instead of the button. God, I'm just such an idiot. The elevator is working. Chris! Hey, Rebecca. Rebecca. I saw you in the inner garden. I finally caught up. I had no idea well, she fucking joins you at this okay. part. That's awesome. No more following. Just stay with me, kid. <laughs> That's my plan, sir. <laughs> it's about fucking time. Wow, Chris. It's about time. Why didn't you do that millions of years ago? But anyway, that's so awesome. So, what, does she actually help you with Tyrant? Because that'd be so cool. Like, just like Barry L. Jill? That'd be awesome. Dude, I really hope that's the case. I didn't even know this happens. That is so fucking awesome. Alright. Boss fight time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Wesker. Whiskers. <laughs> so you've come. Chris, you make me proud. You fell off the goddamn platform. I saw you. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Since when, Wesker? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. What the? Since what? when have they been slipping you a paycheck? Why did Chris just willingly put himself in this position and submit? Confused. If he knew Wesker was the traitor, why didn't he just come I've in here with a gun? Been with umbrella. And stars were umbrellas. No, rather, my little piggies. Oh, that's so cool, Wesker, the little piggies. Virus leaked, polluting this whole that's place. a great saying, yo. You're such a badass. I had to give up my lovely members of stars. You killed them with your own dirty hands. <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh yes, dear. Just oh, like yes, this. Oh yes, dear. Back no! Don't move. You. I don't think you want to die just yet. I have something that's of some interest to you. I mean, he could have just shot her in the face, but he didn't. I'm just always questioning Wesker in this game. None of his none of his actions make any sense. And it's true. Like why didn't he kill Chris a million years ago? And uh why did he help Chris a bunch of times? And why didn't he absolutely kill Rebecca by shooting her in the face instead of shooting her in the arm? Where she's obviously gonna live. Why? But Chris's actions are pretty questionable as well, so Wesker's not the only the one to blame. Ultimate life form, tyrant. Tyrant. <laughs> what? Wesker, you've become senile. What the fuck, Chris? <laughs> Chris, you'll never. He's understand. acting like the real villain. <laughs> he does a man a maniacal fucking laugh. That is hilarious. Oh! <laughs> Wow, that was fucking awesome. Ugh. Sorry, Whiskers. God damn. Looks like I'm gonna Come have on. to beat your Test ass. You freak. Oh, Chris is so ready for your punk face. Your punk face. No, Rebecca. No! Ow! Piece of shit. Ugh. God, man. Not bad. Where is it? Ow! Damn it! 
He probably hit me really hard. Yeah, he did. Son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, eat it. Oh shit, Rebecca. I'm sorry. He fell right on top of you. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, so let's use one of these babies, and we're all good again. We are all goody, cooey, shooey. Yeah, release the lock. Uh, release. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm. Shortcut through the test tubes. Oh, hey, up. How you doing, Rebecca? Whoa, where's Tyrant? He disappeared. He fell right on top of you. I saw it with my own eyes. <laughs> Rebecca! <laughs> yes. It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. Wow. There's nothing left for us to do. Oh, yeah, I could totally Let's see it right under a cowgirl crop top. I can see it. It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. Like, holy shit. The most bullshit thing you could have said. <laughs> and again, Wesker could have completely avoided that if he just shot her in the face. It's funny how stupid, like, this game's cutscenes are, but, but they're, for one, they're stupid in a funny way, like, extremely funny. I've always gotten wild entertainment out of the cutscenes in this game. Because it's just the voice acting and how nonsensical it is. It's fucking hilarious. But, it doesn't, you know, it's not... Like this is an old game. You can't hold it against it? it. I found a file in the lab. Apparently, there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up. Right. The show must go on. <laughs> I'll leave that up to you, Rebecca. I'm on it. I'll start the self-destruct system I found a little while ago. That's it's not like we're out huh. of this yet. I'll see you on the outside. 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 That's so weird. Like, this this ended up completely different from how it ended with, um... Like, Jill's cutscene was completely different. For one, Wesker escaped the room, like, right after you talked to Barry. And, uh... Fucking Wesker's the one who starts to self-destruct, not Rebecca. That's really interesting. Whoa, Chris is looking around all cautious like. Oh, I forgot about these fucks. There you go. Die like a good little boy, yes. Damn it! Mm. Piece of shit. How dare you tickle my toes. Yeah, there you go. I didn't need to kill them, but I just wanted to. It's in my blood. Alright, so let's go get Jillian. Valentine, my sweetheart, I'm coming! I'm, uh, I'm coming to save you. I hope you're ready for me. I hope you are ready to receive me. Because it's going to happen. One way or another. So I imagine this video is going to go a little bit over 20 minutes, just like my last finale did with Jill. Which is okay. I mean, it's the finale. It's epic as shit. And I, I gotta end the video. I can't fucking, you know, cut it and make a second one. That wouldn't make much sense. Then I'd have an extra short video. Vidia. Vidier. <coughs> so did they ever show what the fuck happened to Barry Jill, when you're Chris? Sorry I made you wait. Or is he just assumed dead? Let's get out of here. I knew I'd come too, Jill. There's no fucking way in hell I'd leave you here. No way. It's gonna be really brutal doing the playthrough where you have to let everyone die. Because that's... There's gonna be a sharp pain in my heart. Knowing that I left Jill to blow up. <laughs> Shotgun shells. Ba -na 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 -na. Thanks. Thanks, game. Look, I'm like completely out of a handgun ammo. It's fucking amazing. But I had just so much of it, and it actually really helped out. Couldn't believe how useful it was against like all the fucking little reapers and shit. I'm calling them little reapers forever because they look just like the reapers from RE5. As I've already said. In my Jill Let's Play. I'm gonna check the time in a minute. But let me just... 
get to where I'm going first. Let's get going. You go on ahead, Jill. I will endearingly watch you from behind. All right. So I guess I'll make a trip to the item box, prepare myself for the boss fight, and then I'll save. Check the time, and then we'll end the video, I imagine. It's probably how this is gonna go. And I think we're, I think like probably like three or four parts less than my Jill Let's Play, which is really great. Really love that. Much shorter. And what's really cool about the speedrun playthrough I'm gonna do is that it's gonna end really fast. It's only gonna be like a few parts. Because I have to beat the game in under three hours. So if you think about it, if I just do like four or five half an hour parts, I could easily do it. Anyways, let's put that away. Where's my magnum? Here it is. Bring this, bring this, and we'll bring one more. Or no way. Actually, shit. I need room to pick up the stupid battery at the end of the game. That makes no sense. Let's put the shotgun shells there. We're most definitely not going to need that much ammo. Uh, shit, I forgot the ink ribbon. I forgot. Bam. Alright, so I'm going to save. Let me just cut this out, though, because it takes way too long. Alright, my little kitty cues. Let's beat the fucking game. As you can see, I got my beautiful 44 Magnum out. Let's do this. Jill's here. Um, where the fuck's Rebecca? Isn't she supposed to be standing there too? She better show up. Cause that'd be really shitty if she didn't. Oh shit, it's Brad. And, uh, this is, this is, uh, the, uh, this is Brad? Remember that? It's pretty funny. I see Jill. I don't see Rebecca. Where the fuck is she? I didn't seriously have to go back and get her, did I? I mean, he did say meet you on the outside. So they better not give me that bullshit. Three minutes to detonation. There she is. Good the self-destruct system's activated. Good work. Brad's up in the helicopter. Good Those work. Things are coming. I'll take care of them. But Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. Okay. The girls got my back. As I manly go to the helicopter and let them do all the dirty work for me. No matter which person you're playing, it looks just as bad. There's the timer. But it doesn't matter. I don't even need an in-game timer clock to kick this fool's ass. I'm going to dunk him. Dunk him in magnum bullets, son. Here we go. The signal rockets that are pointlessly placed in front of the door when you can just run over here and use them. Why didn't they just start over here? Makes so much sense, I know. Here we go. Now Brad knows to come and get us. Mm -mm. Chris. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, they're good, bro. Uh-oh. No, Jill! No! Oh! No! Don't worry, Rebecca. We'll kick his ass. Oh, shizzle. Oh, no. I'm not going to be able to stop him. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw you did it, bitch. Oh, my God. The most cheap shot of cheap shots if I've ever seen them. Where the hell is he? Piece of shit. Fuck, I got to reload. Shit. Fuck, damn it! Ah. It's hard to react, he's so fast. So fast. It's like Master E. Holy shit, he popped me right in danger. Alright. 
Oh, look at that. I only need Chris, one more shot. Use it. Kill it, whatever it is. Oh, I will. What if there was a fucking uh sudden plot twist turn of events? Shit, Rebecca, no. Oh, I completely missed. No! Are you kidding me? Wow. You're fucking joking. I missed, and he killed Rebecca. Now I gotta load my file and do the fight again, because Rebecca's dead. Son of a fucking bitch. Oh my god, completely ruined the epicness. I was just about to finish the goddamn game. You son of a. Mm. Let's try this again and do it properly this time, shall we? I fucking kicked his ass this time. Neither me or Rebecca got hit. Now this time, I'm gonna fucking. Don't. Except I'm gonna miss horribly first. Like I did last time. Oh, shit. Don't want him secretly killing me for no reason. Okay, you better fucking die this time, bitch. There we go. Fuck, man, it was so hard to get that clear shot. Really? No. There you go. Oh, what the fuck was that? He fucking, like, smacked the missile away with his hand. Yeah, because that's possible. Dang, there's my first trophy out of a million. Dang, there's my next one. Nightmare ends. Oh, fucking stuff. But yeah, we fucking beat the game, finally! Ugh, yes! Oh my god. So, that was complete horseshit. And what the fuck happened to Barry? We literally don't even know. The game never tells you when you're Chris. Barry is mysteriously unincluded in the entire game. Chris and I go back a long way, but not long enough for me to give a shit about him or show what it, what happened to him at all. <laughs> so, that's it, guys. Real survival in the bag. We did it. We finally fucking did it. Resident Evil. This is it. The moment we've been waiting for. So I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a fucking bullshit last boss boss fight. It's completely bullshit. So many things went bullshittingly wrong. Rebecca died. He smacked the fucking missile away. Um, I had to reload my file. Like all this horse shit. But anyways. So that's that. Yes, you did a fine job. Oh, there's my next trophy. Ding. There's my next trophy. Ding. How many more are we gonna get? Oh, there's my next one. Ding! And I was right. They do stack. You you be hard more hard mode for beating real survival. So save myself a playthrough. But yeah, fucking awesome. So we did that in nine hours. Pretty goddamn sweet. So that was that, guys. Real survival playthrough in the bag. Now try to survive with invisible enemies. Oh, I plan to. So I've never played that mode before. I didn't play it in the old one. Okay, who let the zombie play with high explosives? <laughs> so that's the mode I was talking about when I confused it with real survival. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. This has been my Chris playthrough for real survival mode. And tune in next time when we play probably our knife-only playthrough next. And then I gotta do invisible enemies at some point. We'll see. I'm probably gonna record both of those. So tune in because there's lots more Resident Evil to come. Thank you guys for watching again. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.